Now I've been asked to make a video of fish that we have here at Majestic Aquariums that could go with fighting fish. So the f we're going to assume that it's a small aquarium with a heater and a filter. As you may know, people do keep fighting fish in things like large bowls and so forth, but we will encourage that you give them plenty of space to swim around and you give them a filter and a heater so they can thrive in the manner in which they deserve. So fish like Corydoras catfish, usually an excellent choice. Most of your live bearers, such as your mollies, platties, um, guppies, or let's say sword tails, all come with some risk because sometimes when you add these fish, the fighting fish may attack them, but normally they work. The guppies are higher risk because the guppies look more like a fighting fish and therefore are more likely to get attacked. So once again, Corydoras cats are an excellent suggestion. Any of your sucking catfish like Placostomus or Bristlenose are excellent suggestions. Any of your larger tetras like your rummy nose tend to be okay. Um, Rasboras tend to be okay. Um, things like your sharks may be okay, um, providing that they're small. When they get bigger, they can be quite territorial. Um, angels can be hit or miss. Things like your clown loach tend to be excellent. The <coughs> things like your talking cats are fine. Something big like a Brasiliensis is probably not ideal. Things like your guamis are risky because they look a little bit too much like the biting fish. Glass cats are usually okay. Large tetras are usually okay. Otosynclus are usually okay. Um, um, Siamese algae eaters are fine, particularly when they're small. Things like Congo tetras, um, larger tetras tend to be okay. Guamis are a little bit risky. Don't always get along with them. Um, something like your Bolivian butterflies would normally stay out of their way. Something like a Pictus would normally be okay. Upside down cats would normally be okay. Guamis are a little bit risky. This dude's gonna eat them. Um, too aggressive, Jaguar. Um, too big, red hook. Um, discus normally wouldn't be ideal. Normally you're gonna keep the discus in a more acidic environment, though possible. Um, the Saratogas are gonna get bigger and eat them. Um, Probenzis may stay out of their way if they stay down the bottom, but you keep an eye on them. Loaches are good. Um, mountain clouds are usually good. Rams normally wouldn't cause too much trouble. Corridoras are excellent. Angels a little bit dodgy. A butterfly would be a little bit dodgy. Some fish are very much hit or miss. You try it, it might work. You try it again, it might not work. And all your cichlids are pretty much a bad idea. All your barbs are a bad idea. They're going to be too nippy, too fast, and too aggressive. So things like silver sharks are, if they're small enough, may, may be okay. So anyway, if you can just add to this video uh, and put a little note on the bottom of it, bristle nose are good. What have you kept with a fighting fish that's worked? And what have you kept with a fighting fish that has not worked? Goldfish are a bit dodgy. Give us your opinion. What works with fighting fish?